Hi guys. So today's video is going to be me showing you guys how I do my everyday work kind of makeup. Um, I already got my eyebrow done. I grew back my real eyebrow and I waxed some. So I'm kind of getting used to it. Um, like one eyebrow bigger than the other? It looks like it. Hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, my brows, I actually do them lighter in the summer. Um, I don't really take selfies very often. So, you guys don't really get to see my makeup every day. Um, but I will talk about my favorite kind of brow pencils and things like that. So, I use Palladio. Focus. Um, I really like Playo. It's really cheap. It's really good. Um, I've been using these for five years. No, six years. Six years I've been using these. Um, the the brow color I'm using is dark brown. This is about <laughs> about five shades lighter than my real hair color, and. I just like it because it's simple, it's easy. These are wax based, so they are a little bit harder than, say, um, like the Anastasia Brow Wiz or Benefit um, Precisely My Brow. It's like Benefit Precisely My Brow, but like cheaper. Um, they have twist up. I just like the regular, like, pencil kind. So that's what I did. And I'm going to talk about my skin real quick. Um, I didn't do any chemical pills. I don't know if you guys can see. But I have like really bad um kinda like texture skin and my nose is getting a lot better. Um right here I have a little bump from um acne and I have one on my nose and right here on my chin and some right here. So, I've been doing chemical pills for a while, and, um, I will say that don't do them, like, if you go to get one, don't do them, like, every month. I do mine, like, every five months because I wear makeup, I only wear makeup to work or if I'm going out. So, let's just say that. So, okay. So, for primer, I'm gonna stick to a good old... Um, this one right here. This is by Black Diamond. They don't sell this anymore, so sorry. Um, you can buy this. Um, if you want something similar, you can use um, Professional by Benefit or um, Matchbox Photo uh, Photo Finish Primer or Hourglass. Um, no, not Hourglass. What's it called? By Maybelline. There we go. The, the Mac to Fix. So, I like this one. This is very... Come on. Like this. So, I only wear primer in these areas of my face. So, we're going to put some on. And this does burn a little bit. So, it's supposed to help tighten your skin and smooth it out. Um, if you want something that does that, you can use the Peter Thomas Ross line. Or, if you're on a budget, you can use, um, what's it called? Bioy? Yeah, Bioy. So, for foundation, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my face is lighter than my skin. Like, this is like tan. And then my face is like bright pink. I don't know why it's just like that. So, I'm going to use two foundations. So, the shade I'm using, I mean, excuse me, the brand I'm using is Black Radiant. I love this brand. It's a great drugstore brand. i actually been using Black Radiant for um about a good year. I discovered because my little cousin, who it happened to be African American, she told me about it, and she's like, have you tried Black Radiant? I'm like, no. 
And she's like, oh, it's so good. And she, I'm like, okay, I'll get to try it. So I bought a few things. And normally if I work on women of color, I use um, black opal. Or I use um, some Bin Nye and a little bit of Krylon. So I'm just telling you guys what I use. I actually love black opal. I actually can't believe people don't talk about it that much. So, I put a little bit in my um, candle holder and then some of my beauty blender. Now, I'm not going to color correct because my skin doesn't need it at the moment. Because I've been doing treatment. And also because I've been doing a little bit of lightening of my skin a little bit to get rid of um, some dark spots and hyperpigmentation. But I will focus most of my foundation around this area just to help smooth it a little bit. And I'm not going to be wearing a lot of foundation because it is quite hot where I live. It's supposed to be like 98, but yesterday it was like 104. So I don't really care. What I look like. like a lot of people think like like if you do like you work in the beauty industry that you're supposed to be like super like glam and stuff. I'm not like that. I don't really care. So I'm being like real with y'all. So to keep everything in place. Put some on your eyelids. Now this dry to a powder finish. I mean not powder finish, a satin finish. So you don't need to powder your face. Some people do because they want the extra coverage, but I don't. I like to make sure everything's super um skin-like. Even though I wear a shit ton of makeup most of the time. Let's just go back a little bit more. That's it. And plate the excess into the into the um candle holder. Yet people I use a candle holder as my foundation thing. I'm gonna do two layers. And I noticed that my rosacea been going down a lot recently since I've been doing the chemical pills. So my skin had improved quite drastically. And I've been drinking a lot of water and going to sleep earlier. So that helped with dark circles. All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna go in with, ooh, shoot, don't break on me. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of highlighter, liquid highlighter, and I'm gonna use Becca Champagne Gold. They don't sell this anymore, sorry about it. Now, I use it around my eye area and going upwards. Most people avoid this, this kind of thing because they don't want it to look um like you're sweating. But I like to do it because I noticed that in a lot of, like I don't know if you guys do this kind of thing, but I noticed that in a lot of like Asian culture, they keep like really doing it around the eye to make it look like you're young or um, I do it because if you guys ever meet me in person, I have very dry bags and very kind of like, like my skin is dry and texture at the same time. And also really oily, mostly like right here. Like it will be looking like I constantly have highlighter on my cupid bow, but I'm really just sweating. And also because of my medication I take, if I don't have seizures. Long story short, I had a brain tumor as a kid and I had to take medication to make sure I don't have seizures. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go back a little bit more. Let's put a little bit more. Um just a little bit more. There we go. Just a little bit more. Now I want you guys to understand that even though you guys have a satin finished foundation, you can still put a little bit of liquid on. But don't put a lot because it will kind of look like, 
how do I explain? Like, you know, like when water and a paper towel, like it gets wet and it kind of crumb, crumbled up? That's what happened. So be a little bit like considered about not putting a lot. All right, so now that I got my base done, I'm gonna go in, you know what? Let's use an old goodie. So I'm gonna use a bronzer for my eyeshadow. The bronzer is by Makeup Forever. And it's broken, so that's not that's why I'm not holding it up. So I don't want the stuff to crumble. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush like this, just put it in the crease. It doesn't really matter if it's perfect because we're gonna go in with cream eyeshadow anyway. So and do your stuff while your eyes are open, girl, because when you close your eye and you do it and then you open up, it disappears. So. Just to let you know. And it doesn't have to be super like, like, perfect. A lot of people spend too much time on this stuff. So now, let's go in, where is that cream I said I use? Oh, here it is. So, oh! I bought these like a long, long time ago. These are by e.l.f. And I'm using the shade Brownie. Appropriate. So normally I would use something that looked like this. Come on. Like an old Mac 217. This is very old. But lately I noticed that it gets too boom like in your face. So I've been using this Real Technique brush. This is such a great brush. I love this. So just dip it in, roll it around, and do the exact same thing. Just put it on your eye. It doesn't have to be like super clean because you can pat it around with your finger and, and it blend it out beautifully. So, put it in there. Just put it on top. Since we have some definition. Okay. So now that that's done with. I normally do. Do I want to wear bronzer today? No, I don't want to wear bronzer today. Nah, I don't want to wear that. Okay. So I'm going to use blush. I don't understand why people don't use blush. Like blush is bomb. Like. There's some people out there that don't wear blush at all. I don't understand that. So I'm going to use this palette. Which is my all time favorite. And I'm going to use... Let's use this one. Good old... Old good old brush. So I'm going to mix these two right here. Which is an orange and a red. I got good red. And then we're gonna apply it. These are very, 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 very pigmented, so that's why you need a little dab. Now, if you're like me, I'm very super um, natural. See how that perfect. Did it go up in here? Yes, it does. Okay. So, I wear a lot of blush. If you guys ever meet me, I wear a shit ton of blush because I love blush. So, that's done. I'm not going to wear a, soup, a lot because I don't want to look like a clown today, even though I'm only going to do one client. So, that's done. Um, ow. Where were I forgetting? Oh yeah, lip. Okay, so normally I wear a liquid lipstick or it's just a gloss, but lately I've been loving these two. So, this is by Remo London. These are really good. And then I brought this one because my friend liked it. It's Caramel Kisses. It's by CoverGirl. 
I think between like beaded kind of like road tone or something like that like this like really really light caramel color or I wear red this is my mom's favorite lipstick like ever and it's number road rush um road rush that's my mom's favorite I bought that one too um, I have some OCC lip tart I love, or my signature beige. This is by Jordana, and I swear to God, my friend gave me this one time, and I was like, who the fuck is Jordana? And I was like, okay, whatever. I thought it was like, you know, someone like an FD shop or something like that starting out. Well, I went to, um, Kmart. I don't know if you guys have a Kmart where you guys live. But I found one, and I was like, what the fuck? And I and it was like super cheap. It was like a dollar. And so far, I've been loving these. So today, I'm gonna do my ooh my CoverGirl one. So I'm gonna use CoverGirl and my lip liner. I'm going to use is a brown lip liner. Um, what did I do with that mirror? Oh well, I'm gonna use this. I I have to get get like super close to the mirror, so just to let you guys know. So just gently lining out. Okay, this is not brown. Like a brown purple, but I don't care. And I overline my lip just to let you guys know. Cause I like to make my top lip bigger. So just to let you guys know. And I round out the coop uh, I round out the cupid bow because um my Lip kind of go like a like a M like a strong cupid bow, and I don't like that. Everybody had their personal preference, so just to let you guys know. So I need to label this when I get better. Just to let you guys know, any lip liner work. You don't have to buy expensive lip liner, though. So. Just to let you guys know. Unless you're doing someone else's makeup. If you want a good ass lip liner, you'd open the K. Or Dior. Or Chanel. Now this is not entirely what I wanted, but it'll do. It's like purple brown. I don't know how to explain it. This just doesn't look right. So. I have to fix it. Whatever. We live and learn. Oh. Here's a good trick. If you sweat like right here. And you constantly like talk. The sweat's going to move up into your lipstick. And it kind of feathers. So just gently tap it away. And then. What I like to do is take my beauty blender. And clean up the line. Um, I don't do the top because it doesn't matter. So, now, let's do some lashes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I always get ready in my clothes that I don't really give a shit in. Because this is clothes I wear. So, there we go. Next. I'm going to use some dual lash glue. Put some on. Put some on. I'm using the vitamin C one. I really like this one. A lot of people don't like it. I thought I didn't like it at first. And then I gradually used it a lot more because um, I keep it in my car. So 
I kind of like it now. Perfect. Here's a tip. If you have very rounded eyes or hooded eyes like I do, I curve my lashes like a C at the outer corner because if you stare straight, it makes your eyes like appear a little bit longer. Um, I actually discovered it by watching, I don't know if you guys know who Yumi is on YouTube. I don't even think she had her account anymore. But she's like from like 2008. So, I don't know if you guys know who she is anymore. I don't even know if she's even on YouTube. I have to look it up again. So, I'll just put a little bit. Now, this does dry very quickly. So, just put it on. I don't really care if it look good or not. Because it's not about you when you work on somebody else. So, I have to let you guys know. When you work on other people, like if you work in the service industry, like if you're a nail tech or something, we don't really care. So, just to let you guys know. Like a lot of people focus on being like, be, like looking be and good and like if you work, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys something. If you work in the beauty industry, if you're a hairdresser, nail tech, makeup artist, something. 99.9% of the time, we don't care what we look like. So, I get paid to make other people good. That's all that matters. Just to let you guys know. So, here is my completed look. I think this is way too long for me. Probably. I probably should stick back to my old lashes. And last but not least, is I'm going to use... Oh my god, okay. So, here's a long story short. If you work on other people, do not use drugstore mascara. Like, peel the name off if you do, just to let you guys know. Just keep a secret between me and you. So, um, normally, everyone knows my favorite mascara in the world is Lancome Hypnotic Lashes. However, if you want a cheapie... And you, you know, you're starting out, and you know, you're trying to get yourself something to look beautiful. Um, this Rimble Scandalize, Scandalize, Scandalize Retrogram, Retroglam, Extreme Black. This thing right here, Lord, thank you, Pixie Woo. This stuff is amazing. Oh! Beautiful. You know what? I'm, I, I, don't, I don't like this lip. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chain the lip. Put a true nude on. I don't like the way that it's too... Corp-like. I mean, I like to look cast it ready sometimes, but we ain't going to talk about that eye. Let me add a little bit of gloss. Ow! Lesson number one, make sure you cut your lashes if they don't fit the eye. Because you'll be like me that... I need to... There we go. Um... Sometimes I don't care when I just wear lashes. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. And we're gonna use a little bit lighter gloss. And just to let you guys know, I don't use, like, if I'm using it from, like, my mouth or anything. These are my personal products. I don't do that if I work on other people. Use disposable or put it down on a damping it or something. Key look. There we go. Much better. Alright. So, I'm going to go do some hair. And I might get some stuff for 4th of July. And some scene gigs about that. So, 
yeah, just in my everyday look for work, going shopping, something, something, whatever you guys do, take some tip from this, okay? So, I probably not going to grow my eyebrows back. I noticed that, this is so stupid, so I noticed that when I grow my eyebrows back, they never seem to look like they belong to me. I don't know, I have to get, I have to get you to it. Maybe I should give it a little bit darker. Nah. I'm gonna go in out to see. There we go! Alright, people, there we go. So, I'm going to go do some hair, maybe get some fireworks, something. Hope you guys have a fabulous 4th of July. Remember, people, if you see stupid shit happen, call the police, don't get your ass hurt. Alright, um, have any questions, just let me know, and if you want to subscribe, go ahead, I don't give a fuck if you do, alright people, so I'll talk to you guys later, maybe I'll make another one, maybe I won't, maybe I will, I don't know yet really, so um, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions on anything, um, I will put some of the products down below. If you guys need to know what I use. Um, also. Did I break it? Nope. Okay. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. If you guys have any video suggestions, let me know. If you guys want to know how to get your long hair beautiful, let me know. Is this? Oh, hell no. <gasps> ah, talk about embarrassing, Matt. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to y'all later. Bye.